<laughs> oh, hi there. We're back again with the eBay motor special known as Model D, and the D stands for diesel. If you haven't been up to speed, we're putting a Cummins diesel engine in a Tesla Model 3. Why? Because the car was wrecked and we wanted to bring it back to life as something more interesting, kind of like its older and bigger brother, Ice-T, the V8 Tesla. It was a huge hit and arguably the coolest and most unique Tesla, period. Don't believe us? Well, it was in Car and Driver's EV of the Year magazine and on the cover of Popular Mechanics, but I digress. It's been a long time since Model D had an update because things take a long time, and sometimes we run into issues that take longer than expected. The first example was getting the engine we need. We wanted a Cummins, but the six-cylinder Cummins was too long for the car, so we decided on a four-cylinder Cummins, AKA the 4BT, which is much shorter. Also, it's 10 times hard to find. I learned that they're mostly found in generators and bread trucks, so we bought a bread truck, took it apart according to the factory service manual, of course. The second issue was the transmission, and now when we did the mock-up for the engine and the 5-speed that was in there, it was huge and the shifter position wouldn't work in the small car. So we decided to go with an automatic. And yes, banging gears is fun, but it has to be done in time for SEMA, and this will make our lives much easier. So we found an automatic transmission from an old Dodge truck. You'll never guess where we found it. On eBay Motors, we got the hard-to-find 47RH, meaning it's hydraulic controlled, making it simple for us to work on. Thank you, eBay Motors, for helping us find these hard to find parts. Now, so get this. I was minding my own business last week and I was sent an article on Model D and how cool it was in an article. Now, in said article was the comment section and for the most part, it's pretty negative as usual, but one comment stuck out above the rest. Michael. Michael said, Model D is a stupid project, a waste of time, unoriginal, and rednecks have been doing it for years and it should be no more than a weekend to finish. Now that really hurt, but for things like this, I usually go to the profile of the person posting just to get some more information about their original ideas and maybe some cool projects that they've worked on. Now after some digging, it turns out Michael has a family and drives a Saturn SL2 that needs a new radiator after he hit a rock on the highway. And in his spare time, you ready for this? You'll never guess. Competitive insect fighting. Michael has a YouTube channel and he finds beetles in his backyard and pits them against each other to fight. Records it and puts it on the internet. A fellow content maker and a man that clearly knows what is stupid and what isn't. Mom, where's dad? Daddy's collecting bugs in the backyard again, sweetie. Uncle Rich has come across a Sigma male and he needs my help. Don't worry about your Saturn, man. We all make mistakes. And I get this, right? I was minding my own business last week and you may have noticed a truck that decided to literally vacate itself from the premises. So unexpected things happen. Things can be costly, but fortunately there's Upstart. Yes, Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan and it's literally all online. With a five minute online rate check, you can see it right up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. Conveniently, this can cover the surprise expense of that poor truck and then some, and I can do all of this without leaving the house. Awesome. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash rich rebuilds. And yes, of course, loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your application. Things may be chaos around here at times, but I'm good about maintaining my credit score. So head to upstart.com slash rich rebuilds, and don't forget to use that URL to let them know Uncle Rich directly sent you. Let's get back to Model D. So this is Tesla's idea of the HVAC system in the Model 3. And this thing is so fully integrated within the car, it's not even funny. It is the dash. Yeah, it is basically the dash. Like the dash and the HVAC unit are one, and I can't even imagine if this were to fail, like as an actual part in the Model 3, what do you, what do, you do? What, what are you supposed to do? So the goal is to hopefully get, separate these two things and get the HVAC away from the dashboard. But dude, this thing is just, it's just in there. Here's the back side of the rack. Airbag, glove box. Ah yes, assembled in Mexico. Well, you won't need this either. Whoop. We're gonna yeet that into next week. Yeet. <laughs> you know what? what? Sell it. Where should we sell it? I, I can only think of one place to really put that. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. But give you one hint. Maybe. Did you guys know that it became uh they passed a law that now every time somebody has a death by wood chipper, they're gonna investigate it? Really? Because it's too suspicious. It's easy enough. If, you, if you're wearing clothing that gets caught and pulls you right in, 
Isn't but there I, an emergency stop? There's a, there's a pull. There's a big, ob- obvious pull yeah. for safety. It, it takes a minute. It takes... <laughs> it, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's not, now completing uh, wind-down sequence. It takes, yeah. like, five minutes to stop. It down as it already crushes through your bones. <laughs> Instead of going all the way, you go halfway. If you guys didn't get the memo, we're using the truck frame out of the square body. So Joshua kindly cut this truck frame for us. And if you look... Oh, yeah. oh, he's asleep. He's a, lot of, again. a lot of cutting. So, it's a long night. Look at this. Look at look at cut of at least thirty to forty pounds worth of the body on this. But in case you missed the memo, that's not what the underside back of the model looks like. Yeah, generally there's a battery pack. You know, but a battery pack is a trunk tub. There's an actual trunk floor, and right now there's none of that. Even the frame rails will cut. And some may say, hey, you know what? Why are you cutting the frame rails? But if you look at this new frame, it's this frame is out of the thirty-five hundred meaning this thing could probably pull at least 15,000 pounds. This was intended yeah, so this is a lot more, to work. Yeah, this is a lot more more robust than the original unibody, which is why it can tow now. And the front, again, yeah, a lot was cut out of this thing from last episode. The challenge is getting the, <laughs> it's amazing just how big that engine is. Look how big that is, and that's a four BT. So the six is, yeah. You know, everybody that it, said 6BT was the solution. Oh, yeah, you went no. too small. Let's 6BT be out to here. So, what we have to do, which I didn't know you could do, Joshua alerted me of this. You could actually flip that pan around. I didn't realize it was symmetrical on both sides. You could actually have the front shifted to the back. The more you know. Thankfully, we got these parts from eBay. Huh. See, this is a new oil pickup tube. Because it has to be reversed, we have to flip it around so it pulls oil from here instead. Wait, that's a that's a genuine. This is a genuine one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Genuine. I got genuine parts, and then this is the uh, genuine. I know. Wow. I know. Thanks, I, eBay. Yep. There's and you didn't pay uh, Cummings prices. No, I did not. I got a great deal on this. This is a gasket, and then that's the main oil pan gasket. Again, genuine as well. We're gonna jack the motor up. Drain the oil, remove the oil pan, flip it around, change the pickup tube, install the new gasket, and then lightly place the engine in the bay to see what it's gonna look like. Careful, Here. the same way that Porky Pines will make. Oh boy. The engine itself, 750. You easily have the mark on this. And then the tranny attached. That's another couple hundred pounds too. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's a thousand. This is conveniently almost the same weight as the Model 3's battery pack was. Which will pose another interesting problem, which is why, once again, we did switch the frame up because now all our weight is displaced to the front. Got him. Feels safe, doesn't it? I feel safe and warm. Knowing that it's about 950,000 pounds, I think. Uh huh. Just crush your head like a watermelon. It'll be a quick death. Well, then let's go ahead and. Quick and painless. It's like I like it. All right, so the difference between these two pickup tubes is this old pickup tube picked it up from the front, and the new pickup tube picks it up from the rear. You ask yourself, but Rich, why can't you just switch it around? No, you can't. Not because like you can't. That one's physically longer, yeah. It's just not how that works. New gasket. It's pretty, isn't it? We kind of need it. So. Yeah, it's important. All right, that's the reverse pan. It's the new, uh... We did it. Give her the old dry fit? Yeah. Thumb up to Cummins right there for... It's what? It. So that's thumbs up to Cummins for having a reversible a reverse, pan. You're telling me? I didn't even know that was a thing. That's that's a really good idea. Yeah, actually. that would have been not fun. Well, I guess it makes sense when you when you're doing it to multiple. I mean, you have to figure different chassis, different chassis, multiple truck applications. It's got to be pretty universal.
first off, Joshua, your last name's on here, so people can Google you. Mm -hmm. But but what's this? They install solar panels now. Huh. This is amazing. I had no idea the Girl Scouts were, uh, you yeah. know. Look out, Solar City. They're coming after you. <laughs> solar Seriously. City doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't? Oh, that's been gone for years. Oh, really? Yeah. What, so what are the ones that actually exist now? Tesla. Like, they merged the companies. Elon, you know. He just brought another company. Yeah, he, he just did a thing. He's acquired them. Interesting. Yeah. Look out, Tesla Solar. Look out. They're any, coming. Yeah. I think, what, what, what's on their heads? This, is it a Tesla logo? It is. It's amazing. The Tesla people. Wow. They're doing it for the planet. Imagine having a 14-year-old and selling solar on the roof. Yeah, that looks like a quite expensive home. Are they of age? Yeah. <laughs> Are they of age? Are they of age? Wait a minute. That's it's, illegal. Yeah. Yeah, we're the working You certified to do this? Mm -hmm. So here we are. This uh, job is driving us to drink, as you can see. None of us really drink alcohol, except for whatever that is. Sutter home? What is that? It's Joshua's. Sauvignon. I know nothing about alcohol, really. Well, I mean, I know a couple of things, but wine, that's just not my thing. Mm. I, I know nothing about wine. I know that it's sometimes it's red, sometimes it's white. Yep. And that's about it. I see you brought the VA juice back, Joshua. I did. No one's going to drink that. I'd rather have motor oil no, first. Oh, gosh. VA's the most disgusting. Yeah. Oh, he's going to do it. Yeah. I got to leave the room. Nope. I'm not going to watch him do that. Is he doing it? Yeah, unfortunately. I'll, 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 I'll call you when it's over. Yeah, please do. Dude, shout out to Arnold Palmer, though. Look at that smug face of satisfaction. I know. Look at him. He, he's, he knows the ball's going in, so Look he's making him. this little, yeah. like... Mm -hmm. Charismatic. He's winking at some girl in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's doing. I'll see you after. Yeah, see you later. No, you? No, not you. Not you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a difficult day for all of us. Um, no one died, but. <laughs> that's not true, actually. My great aunt passed away. You really? Yeah, I'm like sorry. literally a week ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's weird. That's, that's, are you recording? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, look. Anyways, so, so, so um, yeah. yeah, rest in peace, Aunt Nancy. We're having some issues with the transmission. So if we look inside, Steve, I don't know if you want to hop in and explain the situation as to where things are going to sit. Are you afraid to get in there? Well, you're, you, you're, the, you're the parkour guy. You want me to start parkour? I'm not going to start parkour. It's parkour. It's it, hopping in a car. It was. It's parkour, Get into a lifted truck the same height as this. Yeah, pretty much. I do. Yeah, um, yeah so we, we have the manual transmission, and it's it's quite a bit larger than anticipated. Well, we're also touching this, uh, this frame back here, and we've switched. We've been waiting for a good month and a half. Yes, very long time. But scouring ebay motors mm -hmm. per usual yep. we were able to find this gem over here thank you ebay motors. turns out more most four bts are manual so yes. when asking for an automatic one it was it was not it was not easy at all yeah. so we uh because of where this sits the uh the dashboard would come out to approximately probably like right here or so right where yeah, this the, the, yeah the uh the screen is is about here right where that line is and if you can see where the shifter is the shifter would have to come out literally out of the dashboard what we could have done we could have had like a, 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 a very sharp like right angle and come up, but trying to shift with that would be a nightmare. Not only that, but it also adds time because Joshua would have to install a clutch pedal and we don't want, we don't want Joshua doing all that. No, uh, I mean, he, no, we've already I mean? done that before. So. No, before. We're yeah. going to use what we have. What we have. So this is going to be an automatic. And Joshua, do you want to, do you want to talk about really anything at all? Or do you want to just... No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Today is going to be a rough day because we have to attempt to remove this monstrous transmission. Pull it up. Pull the shaft out of the hole. There we go. There we go. Let's do something. Let's do something. What's doing something where? Well, it's further. Josh, do you have like a pry <laughs> bar? Do I got an oar? Yeah. You have an oar? You have an old... Josh, would you have a hickory oar over yeah. there? You know what? This Tony Hawk skateboard. Yeah. That's everything, man. <laughs> I know, right? You literally could use that. I got, we got two skateboards. <laughs> oh, it's coming out. And 32 minutes and 48 seconds later. Look at the size of that clutch. That's a big boy. Big old clutch. Mm. 
All right, we're halfway there. Woo! <laughs> I did. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was like, what, I was, I was, I was like, what, what just happened? Surprise, bitch. Oh, you got it? It dropped. Dang. These bolts. Accident. Why? You gotta go put two fingers in and. Yeah. <laughs> now that the engine's half the weight now, um, we should. I'll get this stuff out of the way and we'll start test fitting the new housing. Yep. On there. See how this That's uh, in that dog food bag, right? I think. <laughs> yeah, this is fine packaging. We got the right part. It just happened to be in a bag of dog food. Look at how happy that dog is. Happy lass. It's a gold lab. Little unbox therapy for you right here. Mm -hmm. okay. Look at that happy dog. Arf, 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 arf. Looks fucking terrible, Steven. What's this? Man, I wish we could learn more about what was made. That's kind of cool. Joshua, what is this? I don't know. Man, I wish we could learn more about the thing you made. That's kind of cool. You gotta tell people about these fine pieces of... That's right, no. No, you didn't find out like that, Joshua. Joshua, these look handmade. I think Joshua made those. That looks handmade. Yeah, he made those. He doesn't want to flex his ability here, but I'm good. pretty impressed. Awesome. Actually, this is really cool. I this, like this. This would be a good, like, helmet. What? Or, like, a medieval penile guard. <laughs> <laughs> Where is <laughs> this? what happens in medieval times. Look at this. Yep. Slap, can't slap the tank. You feel all right? I can't do it. Feels fine. <laughs> Perfect. Feels fine. Perfect. Is that what he made that for, though? Seriously? I, I, he won't. He'll never tell us. Medieval oh, penile protection. Kind of all right. Cool. Well, this is up to everybody's interpretation, then. Mm -hmm. Joshua's peeing guard. I should probably put this down now. That's gross. What are you doing right now? Steve? I'm, I'm measuring the length, the width, the height. What he's doing? He's measuring once. Not cutting. And cutting. Yeah. So what Not I cutting corners. I don't measure, and I just cut. Oh. And then bad things happen. So, so that's four and seven eighths. So we're we're going under cross member oh, here. Oh, so we have to have to cut that out. Yeah. So we'll or move it down. Or yeah, something. either cut it out or move it down. But I'm just trying to figure out where that's going to line up. Because then you know, here's our so, immovable here. So measure the height of the old transmission so people could <laughs> get a feel for why we actually did this. Look at this. Well. <laughs> We're at just shy at 16. 16 inches? How, how high is this one? This one to here, we're getting eight, eight and a half, eight. nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's a big difference right there. It's almost half. I mean, again, lengthwise, it's, it's going back a little ways more, but that's that's fine. So there's a chance in order for this to really go anywhere, we have to cut that cross member out. I know that sound. <laughs> Moment of truth. Moment of something. All right. Push in more. Coming in no. smooth. Down. Go down. Gotta go down. Far. Yeah. Pull out. Yep. Pull out, and we <laughs> and we can start to. Uh, <laughs> no way. All right. No way. So Pull out. We can start to come down a little bit too, and see where we are in. Well, wow. We're having some fun. So to bring everybody up to speed, we are playing around with where the engine sits and how our oil pan is affecting our entire universe. Yeah. <laughs> because the oil pan is so deep. Yeah, pull it up. Jamie. Pull it up, Jamie. Yeah. This is what's happening. So, as you were watching earlier, this is how the oil pan only orients, but unfortunately, it's so deep, it would hit right in front of that cross member. So we flipped it. Gave it a little reverse action. To give some more clearance up front, but it now, doesn't matter. <laughs> now, now that we have the clearance up front, 
we can't get it in because we're, we're now messing with the frame of the windshield yeah. and it can't go back any further than right here. So that's our new problem of the day. It's a new dilemma. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pull the transmission up Yep. so it sits more level just to see what it would look like. <laughs> but it's gonna have to go up. Right now it's pretty high. It's gonna have to go up even higher to put that pan. Unless we get a shallow pan, but what people have been doing, they've been just bashing it with a hammer. Is that what we wanna do? I don't think so. <laughs> there is a lot of room in here. Even once this is in and dialed in and everything, we could still work on the engine. Yeah. Because look, it's going to be about this high. We could access everything around this, unlike a regular Tesla. Well, this was you know designed with maintenance in, in mind, yeah, right. not not bring it back to the Apple store. I mean, yeah. the uh, Tesla <laughs> <laughs> The John Deere. I mean, <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> oof, oof, oof. It's like a dwarf. The final frontier. That's space. Not really. Well, I mean, it's kind of, this is like exploration in a way. It's space, it's like a new, new world. It's never been done before. Well, it, several times with other cars, but right. not this one. Not this one. There was so little room. The gas would be all the way over here and the clutch would be right here. So you have- the Clutch is actually outside the door. Yeah, you have to pull a lever to pull the clutch. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nightmare. So this gained us a ton of room. And um, and it's automatic, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, not every day you see a 4BT that's automatic. And no. this will be nice for, for oh, towing. This will be good for towing. You don't have to worry about shifting and drilling a hole right through the dash or having this really awkward shifter. Yeah, this-, this Kind of sad about that. I, I, I like the idea of the giant yes. knuckle dragger up right. top. Right, no, you're right, you're right. But, but hey, you know what, it, it, this is- If it's actually gonna be used for its intended purpose, then- Yeah, we're not building this for sport. Automatic makes, makes a lot more sense. Since the Duramax isn't coming back, this is switch yeah, to Torah. It's the new Torah. It's funny because it's it true. It's funny because I'll never see that truck again. Uh, rest in peace. Actually, what, look, what's going to Rest in peace, first? Aunt Nancy. Rest what in peace, Duramax. Rest in peace, Duramax. Hope they're in heaven together. Oh, God. Um, well, how did I go too far? I didn't go too far. You started it. I'm just sad. Yeah. I'm just sad. You know, uh, she's probably driving in that thing right now. You know? At the Golden Gates. Oh, half. She's... Pearly Gates, I mean, not the Golden Gates. Oh yeah, the Golden Gold, the Gold, gold, gold McDonald's. <laughs> the Golden Arches. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yes, it's a lot of work. I won't bore you all to death with the extra stuff, but I'm sure you all have things to do. It's coming along quite nicely, and the next step is the fabrication process of making engine mounts and a firewall. I will see you all next week. And in the meantime, please enjoy this brief video of an autonomous floor cleaner.